Okay, guys. Oh. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm Short and Stone, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. But now, I'm a fiance. On today's episode, oh, we're going to be at a session together and I'm going to tell you a story time of how I was proposed to at Yosemite National Park. All right, let's grab your rigs and let's get into it. Okay, I just got back. We went on a, a 10 day road trip from Colorado up through Cali through the PCH and ended in Bend, Oregon for a music festival. Ah, it was the best trip ever, and I started out as a girlfriend, and now I'm a fiance. But okay, long story short, we met three years ago in Philly. I went to a solo show by myself. I was just smoking, having a good time. He walked up to me. He was like, hey, I like your bucket hat. Where's it from? And I'm like, I actually made it. Uh, I have an edible brand called Short and Stoned, and this is our merch. One thing led to another, which led to another, which led to another. And then we moved from Philly at eight months together. We moved across country and moved in together. And it was only up from there. Once we moved to Colorado, I got my manufacturing license. I became the youngest manufacturer in the state of it, dealing with the plant and providing it to dispose. Steven also transitioned from working a corporate job to now we're in the mountains and he's taking over a lighting business. So he's going to be an entrepreneur and CEO as well. So we've just always supported each one another through everything. And and so yeah, little context that leads us to today. He calls me last month, randomly at lunch, and is like, hey, Kelly, do you wanna go on a road trip for 10 days? I took off for 10 days. We can go to Cali, we can go up to Oregon. What do you think? You okay, 10 days, you randomly just took off? Okay, okay. Then a week later, we're driving around, we're doing groceries. He randomly turns to me and is like, yeah, you know that festival Cascade Equinox up in Bend, Oregon? I was like, yeah. He's like, I bought us tickets. I bought us camping, I bought us the festival passes, and I bought us the VIP upgrade. I was like, what? So we're going on a 10 day road trip, and, da, da, da. and I was starting to piece it together. I'm like, he doesn't really plan often with anything I do the planning, he does the driving. And this time I was like, oh, it's getting this serious. And then the morning comes along, we're getting ready to leave for the road trip morning of, and I see a ring box in his pocket. <laughs> So we leave Saturday, first full day in Yosemite. We do a tram car ride, a guided tour. We nerded out, we geeked out over this. Normally we don't do guided tours. We love to do hikes and do our own research before we go or while we're there, talk to park rangers. However, this time was a little bit special. We wanted to cover a lot of land and see all the big things. The Three Brothers, the Valley, El Capitan, Half Dome, and we saw all of that and then some on the tram door. We geeked out, we had the best day. We went back to our campsite, made dinner, and he's like, Kelly, it's sunset, let's go. I'm like, okay, let me do a dab. He's like, no, let's go. So we walk up, we do a little, probably like half mile up to Glacier Point, the highest point at Yosemite National Park. You see Half Dome and you see the glacier carved iconic U-shape valley. And so we're up there, we're admiring it, and Steven's like, let's get a photo. All right, before I get any further, let's take a dab together. I'll be honest, I knew he was gonna do it in Yosemite. I did not know he was gonna do it that night. I was shocked. Cheers, guys. going in on the cherries and strawberries from Verdant Leaf up in Oregon. So we have a walk, we have a nice walk up to this point. It's about a half mile. The sun's setting, it's getting cold. We're bundled up. We're walking up to the top of this point. We're chatting. We're taking photos of the valley of Half Dome. We're gawking and he's like, let's get a couple to take a photo for us. So we take a photo for them, we switch spots, they go to take a photo, and then Steven goes, can you actually turn it to the side and grab a video? And as soon as he said that, I'm like, oh my God, it's happening, because the one thing I told Steven, I was like, 
if you can find a way to get it on video that'd be great because that, that's just really important to me and just for my cheesiness my nostalgia i really wanted to be able to watch it over and over and over again <laughs> and he did he got down on one knee and it was the easiest yes i ever said and i was happy hopping and I'm screaming, I'm throwing my hat around, I'm making a deal. I made a big deal, okay? Okay, little me made a big deal, okay? And he, he got the prettiest moss aggie, which is a beautiful stone. I didn't want a diamond, I'm not a girly girl. And next to it are two moonstones, which are his birthstone. I think that's a gorgeous way to tie uh, both of us into this ring. And then there are leaf details like little leaves around the sides of it and then on the side there's even it's like a little dainty ring there's spaces in it and it was beautiful we sat and we cried on the rock afterwards and we walked down and the best part about the trip is we got to spend our first 10 days as fiancés within two feet of each other the whole time i have a converted ford transit connect so it's 24 square feet in the back and then walking around together in the parks to hike and around the festival we were together the 10 days after this wow i love my man i love my life after yosemite we went to redwood we camped in redwood we did we hiked in all the giant titan trees and then we went to crater lake national park in oregon which is a lake that was made from a these volcanoes shifted and made a giant crater and we went to bend which was like van life mecca capital and then we got to do a music festival to end it all off, which like, if you know me, you know Steven, music festivals are our place. We, music's our thing. We thrive at shows. We love going to shows. I'm rambling now. Let's do another dab. Let's continue sashing. Cheers. Oh, that's heating up. Let's take a moment for the ring. And it matches the flourish. Yeah, that's where I'm rocking this Jungle shirt. Jungle is the band that headlined the music festival on the last day. Steven and I had seen a lot of people in the lineup previously, but we were most excited for Jungle, and it was so good. Such a great end to the fest. I brought in my new puff coat, and I was just dabbing the whole time. Hella jays. What a freaking trip. I left a girlfriend. I came back a fiance, checked four things off of my bucket list. Yosemite, Redwood, PCH, Bend, Oregon. And I got engaged! Ah! Like, it was such a good trip! I didn't want it to end. So yeah, thanks for tuning in to my story time and hearing about how I got engaged at Yosemite National Park at the highest point with Half Dome in the back. With a moss agate! I still can't believe it. We're gonna do another one. And I got a new puff coat to match my ring. Cheers, y'all. I just can't believe it. I'm engaged to be wed to the love of my life. And thank you for listening to my engagement story. Cheers. Oh yeah guys, thanks for tuning in. Keep an eye out for the next video where I'll be sharing my giant haul from this epic road trip. And don't forget to see my previous video where I share 
the top terpenes to combat pain. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to hang out with me a little bit more. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday, so I'll see you real soon. Peace. And if you didn't hear it yet today, I appreciate you.